Einsiedler Landbär. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Bows Reviews. I have just reviewed the Brewdog Nitro Choco Libra. I really didn't like that. That had a, it, it started off okay, but then it had a horrible, spicy, hot finish at the end with like chili or something in it. I didn't fucking like it and I've still got the taste of it on my throat. It's given me a headache. So as you can imagine, I'm not too impressed with that. So I've decided to try and get something a little bit special to get that horrible taste out of my throat. And I've picked this stuff. This is the Einsiedler Land Beer. Now Einsiedler are rapidly becoming a favorite brewery of mine. I recently tried their Pilsner and it was absolutely gorgeous. I've tried their Weiss Beer which was absolutely amazing stuff, really impressive. That is one of the few that got a 10 out of 10 that wasn't from Bavaria. And I've got some of their land beer now as well. And land beer, in case you're wondering, let me get that out of the way first. Land beer is a style of beer that's brewed in Germany, but it's, but it's a beer that is brewed for the local tastes. So for example, a very, very loose comparison would be Newcastle Brown only being brewed in the region of Newcastle and it being renowned for just being available there, if you like. That's what land beer is. But of course, land, the definition of land beer now has changed. You can get land beer all over Germany now from various breweries. And it usually is a really nice style of beer. I have got a bottle up there, I can't get it now, it's, it's all hemmed in. Can, can I actually, hang on a minute. Now this stuff was given to me by a friend who lives near Munster, and uh, this is the Munster Lander Original Potts Land Beer. Potts is a local brewery, and this is their sort of local brew, which is brewed and just available in that area. Now that is land beer in the true sense of the word. This stuff obviously is available in the UK. I bought it online, I think that came from, was it Beers of Europe? Possibly Beers of Europe. But that's what it is, it's a local, if you want to use a League of Gentlemen term, it's a local beer for local people. This is a local shop for local people, there's nothing for you here. Uh Anyway, now we've got land beer out of the way. Um, just a quick note on the brewery. If you want to look up the history of the brewery, I'm not going to go into it here. I've spent too, far too much time guessing. Uh, check out the other Iron Seedler reviews on the channel. I'll go into a bit more detail about the brewery there. Just to let you know that this is in the eastern part of Germany. It's in a place called Chemnitz. Chemnitz is quite near the Czech border. They sometimes share a lot in common with the Pilsners that come from the Czech Republic. Certainly the Pilsner that I tasted from Einsiedler, tasted very Czech in its uh, characteristics. But the land beer, I'm intrigued to try it. And with this fucking horrible brew dog taste on my throat, I wanna get this down my fat Gregory. This is 5%. It is a 500 ml bottle. The IBUs on this are, I think, uh, so I think they're 25, and that's really all I, I all I can tell you about the beer. It's got locally sourced hops and malt in it. The water in this has come from a mountain spring from the the Ore Mountain Range. The Ore Mountain Range is a range of mountains in Central Europe, which is not too far from Chemnitz, or Chemnitz is not too far from the mountain range, and they use water 
from there to brew their beer. So with that in mind, let's get this open. Ein Ziegler, in case you're wondering what that means in German, it, it means hermit. And if you look at their logo, it hasn't, you can't really see it on the bottle, but if you look on the, uh, on the website, here's the cap there. If you look on the website, you'll see a, a picture of a bloke with a, a long beard. No, it's not me. And that is the supposed hermit. Anyway, let's get this into the glass. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of glass I should be using, so I've got a, a, a Weizen glass, which which is the default glass for me for German beer because you really can get the aromas and flavours from that style of glass. Now, as I said, their Weiss beer was absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance to get hold of some of that, do so. I was really impressed. And Weiss beer, I do know about, and their stuff was really good. I liked it. Oh wow, got some yeasty sourness initially, some caramel malt, and some very light hop bitterness on that. A little touch of spice as well, and again, this goes back to my point about them being near the Czech border. Now the the hops that are usually in that area are Sartz hops. Now Sartz hops are a noble hop, but they're renowned for their spice. Like the Tetnanga hops and the Halatau hops, they have got quite a significant spicy character to them. And I'm getting that there. There is a little sourness to it. I'm wondering if that's coming from the, well, it probably is coming from the yeast, but it does look quite good. Now, if you look at the color, that is a very light amber color not your usual, you know, Hellas colour. That's more like a Pilsner in colour, more like a Czech Pilsner. But of course, this is a land beer. Bottom fermented. And here it is in a glass. It looks really nice. Two finger foamy white head, fair amounts of carbonation, nice clear amber colour. Let's get it down my fat Gregory. Zum Wohl, as they say in Germany. Right, first thing I notice is absolutely superb mouthfeel. That is super smooth. We dive in again. Hmm, interesting. It's got a bit of finish, and it's that spicy black pepper type bitterness. The body is quite light, but judging from the color, I would have expected a little bit more flavor from it. Oh, that, that finish is the, the flavor is all in the finish. <clears throat> nice hoppy bitterness. The body's quite light, and to be honest, I'm not getting massive. I thought there'd be some caramel malt on that, really not getting that at all. Really struggling to get the malts that are in here, but the finish is just all about the hops. Slightly herbal, spicy, definitely spicy, and bitter. Putting me in mind of a North German Pilsner. Um, I, need to, I think I need to investigate a little bit more to give you my honest opinion on this one. Quite 
quite an earthy taste in the mouth as well. That's what I'm getting now. And the more I drink, the more this really is all about the hops. It's actually quite a good showcase for the noble hops. I'm assuming they're Sartre's hops. Because they're so near the Czech Republic, they don't say on the website what sort of hops they're using, but I would imagine it's some kind of noble hop. Um, I've tasted lamb beer before from various regions. Now, for me, that Potts lamb beer is probably one of the best I've tasted. This stuff has slightly let me down. The, I thought the malts were going to be bigger in this, but the, the hops have just taken over completely on this. And it it's not bad, don't get me wrong, it, it isn't bad. I could drink a few of these, but... I was just expecting a little bit more of the malt character to come through. And sadly, it's not. It's, it's sort of been dominated by earthy notes. And then the finish is all about the spice. I mean, it, it, as I say, it's a great showcase for noble hops. If you really want to see what Sartre hops taste like, sort of isolated, this is a good option. Hmm, yeah, not bad. A slight letdown for me, but still not bad. So what's the verdict on Einsiedler Landbier? Slightly disappointing for me. I thought the malt was gonna be a lot bigger in this. However, this is all about the noble hops, the German noble hops, or if you want to argue the toss, you could say they're Czech as well. But for me, this is all about the noble hop character. There's big earth in the mouth. As I say, there's black pepper, spicy, not spicy as in hot spicy, but spicy as, I've got to say that because I've just tried that Choco Libra. Fucking hell, net. It really didn't, I didn't like that at all. I just don't like chilli in beer. It's, them hot spices in beer, I just fucking don't like them. This is, uh, as I say, this is a good showcase for noble hops, but it's let me down a little bit because I thought there would have been at least some caramel malt in that, and I'm not getting that at all. Having said that, this is a very nice chugger. I could throw a lot of that down my neck and not get tired of it. Um, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. I think that's a fair mark for it. Yeah, it's it, it could have done better for me, for my personal taste, if it had a little bit more caramel malt on it. And that is the only gripe. The spiciness of the hops and the earthiness of the hops does shine through here. Gives it a nice bitter finish and quite a uh, yeah, just a, a a hoppy type character to it, which, you know, when I say hoppy, I don't mean obviously American hops. This is all about the, the German noble hops. You do get that in there. But yeah, it's not bad. I do like this brewery. I think this is the weakest effort from them so far though, unfortunately. The pills and they do is excellent. Or no, it's the, um, it's the beer they did to commemorate the brewery. It's the, the hundred years of the brewery they brewed. I kind of, for the life of me, I can't remember it. It's on here. I will put it up here. And the Weiss beer is absolutely outstanding for me. This slight letdown, but if a slight letdown is going to give you seven and a half out of ten, you're definitely doing things right, in my opinion, anyway. So yeah, I recommend it if you can get hold of it. But I urge you to try and get the other two first. Try and get the. This, I think it's the Centenary beer, there's, there's a name for it. I'll flash it up here. And try the Vice beer as well, because that is really good stuff. That really impressed me too. But this stuff, the Land beer, is going to get 7.5 out of 10. And I still recommend it though. So there you go. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>